So I bought this for uh, 50 crown. What is that? Five dollars, maybe less. So let's see if we can uh, fix this up. It's in terrible shape. It's bent everywhere. It's a, like a banana. It's the wrong wheels on it. This one needs some uh, TLC. So let's take it apart and see if we can straighten it up and make it a little bit stronger. Because that's the problem with this metal boards, whatever you want to call it, it's creeper, that's what it's name, the metal creepers, they always bend in the in the middle here when you sit down on them and when you get up, so let's see if we can make it a little bit stronger so it doesn't bend when you sit on it, let's go. Like that, I took it all apart, and here you can see the difference. The lowest one was closest to the head, and the tallest one is where you put your butt down. So, straighten these out and uh, reinforce them somehow. I haven't figured out how yet, but I'm getting there. And. Uh, you see these are kind of bent too. Straighten both of those up. And uh, this uh, sheet metal that you're laying on is only tucked in behind the, the lip here. Here. But uh, when it's all put together I was thinking about spot welding that sheet metal to the sides here. That's gonna make it less movable and hopefully keep it uh, straighter a little bit longer. So uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with uh, how I straighten this parts out so I get back to you when uh, when I start to uh, reassemble it uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use uh, rivets for this or if I'm just gonna use a, a screw a bolt and a nut we'll see I haven't decided yet so I get back to you when I start to uh, reassemble it Now this one fits. See like I said it's supposed to go under here on both sides. Just like this. So that means that you gotta put this one first. Put this uh, 
bottom piece first and then you put the support afterwards and it would lay on this edge here on both sides kind of want this uh, bolt heads in here where I'm supposed to lay but on the other hand I got some cork I could glue on this one that would cover the, the bolt heads and it would be softer to lay on too I got plenty of that in the storage outside so I'm probably going to do that Take this apart, clean everything up, and because uh, I'm going to paint it after it's all put together. Yeah, I'm going to paint it when it's all put together. So I'm going to take this apart and clean it up, and then we put it together and see what it looks like. Like that. That should be a lot stronger. And I just gotta figure out a way to make, especially this side, I gotta support it somehow there because that's the way, that's where you sit down on the creeper. So, and I weigh like just over 100 kilos so when I sit down on this end here I don't want this one to to move so I gotta support that somehow I haven't figured out how yet but I'm working on it this is what I came up with this is a four millimeter flat bar That I weld to the the rear uh, bracket. That will prevent uh, the bracket from uh, bending. And also because I uh, spot welded this sheet metal that you're laying on, it will prevent that from from buckle up here if you're sitting on it. So. Let's weld this together, see what it looks like.
Let's start putting this together. It's uh, dry, nice and dry now. So I'm gonna use Loctite on the nuts because I didn't have enough uh, locking washers or uh, self-locking nuts. I don't have enough of those. So I'm gonna Loctite the nuts. But uh, start with putting on the wheels. Okay, to not have these uh, screws in my back, got some uh, cork. I thought I'd glue some cork here. You can still feel the screw, but it's not going to be hard on your back. And I'm hoping that uh, I can attach this with. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Two of them. Perfect. So let's uh, cut a little bit here. Easier to handle. And this is some kind of rubber. Can you cut it with a scissor? I don't think this is cork. I thought it was going to be easy, just glue it on here and then cut the end, but uh, I think I have to cut it now before I glue it, because this is hard. It's some kind of rubber, that's perfect. Because I was worried that if it was cork, if you spill oil on it or something, it's gonna the cork's gonna suck it up. But 
But if this is rubber, you won't suck it up. My scissors is getting slow, uh, getting dull now. Like that. So let's glue it. That's working, that's fine. When I sit in the back here, nothing is moving. So this four, metal, four millimeter flat iron I put in the back here, it's really helped. And this kind of rubber, whatever it is, you won't feel the screws underneath here. So that's pretty good. And also, I did a lip here. And that is because everybody that's been uh, working on a creeper under the cars more than once, they know that. When you move around on the creeper, under the car, of, often it happens that you kind of slide off the creeper with your ass. So now when I, when I put this lip here, with the flat iron, that's going to keep me yellow, anyway, from sliding off when I'm moving around under the car. No, I'm gonna, not going to use this so very much because I have a lift outside. But I'm going to use it a lot later on when, when this comes off this uh, rotisserie. I have a different uh, cradle it's going to sit in on wheels. And when it sits on the cradle, I'm going to need this creeper to get under the car. So that's why I'm, that's why I fixed this up. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm starting to feel to work on this one. I'm getting there. Probably next week I'm gonna start. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Gonna work. Let's see. Honest. Did I break my phone now? No. Oh, God, I'm not